April 9, 2022 Daily Devotion There is a longing Only you can feel A raging tempest Only you can still My soul is thirsty, Lord To know you as I've known Drink from the river that flows before your throne. Take me deeper, deeper in love with you. Jesus, hold me close in your embrace. Take me deeper, deeper than I ever been before. I just want to love you more and more How I long to be deeper in love Sunrise to sunrise I will seek your face Drawn by the Spirit To the promise of your grace My heart is found in you A hope that will abide Here in your presence Forever satisfied Take me deeper Deeper in love with you Jesus hold me close in your embrace take me deeper deeper than i ever been before i just want to love you more and more how i long to be deeper in love take me deeper Hold me close in your embrace Take me deeper Deeper than I ever been before I just want to love you more and more How I long to be deeper in love Daniel 1 verse 21 And Daniel was there until the first year of King Cyrus. Why are we still? It has been two years and we are still in a pandemic. A lot has changed and we had a lot of losses. Who could have imagined? After all the feats Daniel and his friends achieved by God's grace, just in the first chapter of the book, the exile didn't end. He was still in the same dire situation. If you're not familiar with history, Nebuchadnezzar reigned for more or less 70 years. His reign meant darkness, invasion, siege, defeat, and plunder for years, and Daniel lived through it. Let me repeat, He lived through all those 70 years of being under the enemy while most of his people lived far away from home. It's heartbreaking and scary to even imagine. I heard many who ask, why are we still in the pandemic? Isn't God doing something? And we are only in the second year. Imagine how they felt in those 70 years, especially Daniel who became God's instrument of his work. In moments of weakness, he might have asked the same questions, but again, he lived through everything until Cyrus's reign. If we read our verse today and you know who King Cyrus was, you will realize that he was the one who ended the exile. His reign suggested freedom, restoration, and rebuilding, and with it was the joy of going home. It was a long journey. I bet it was more than exhausting. 
but God proved himself faithful once again by showing him that the exile was not forever. This single verse, with its context of course, is a great comfort for us today. We may just be in the beginning, or hopefully in the last moments of this COVID-19 pandemic, but whatever the timeline is, it's not forever. Like Daniel, perhaps, we just have to be faithful through the process and we will survive this while leaving stories that would glorify God. Then, one day, we can also share how God proved himself faithful to us through these trying times. Reflection What is your story? Do you believe that God can also use your life as a message? It may be hard right now, but it's not forever. You may still be in a situation that you don't want to be in, but God is faithful. Trust in Him. Prayer Father, it's hard. We want to feel You. We want to be with You. We want to glorify You. But it's hard with what's happening. Please give us the strength to go through these moments that seem to be lingering forever. We acknowledge your power and sovereignty. Please help us cling to your words and please see us through. We trust in you. In Christ's name, amen.